I say you're asking me to follow you into Mordor, but the Shire is burning, so Mordor it is. Here's your look at the new Bandai Stranger Things The Void series, Eddie. Bandai brings one of the most iconic and popular shows, Stranger Things, to life with these detailed figures that are a love letter to 80s pop culture. Fans and collectors alike can bring home their favorite characters and monsters from the series that captivated audiences and became a global phenomenon. Leader of the Hellfire Club, Eddie is a genius at D&D and is constantly on the lookout for new members to join in his campaigns. Before we start blasting Master of Puppets, I'd like to thank the folks first over at Bandai, who did provide this sample of Stranger Things The Void series Eddie that we could have a look at in this review. Grabbing now the tape measure to see how tall the figure stands, clickety-click right to the very top of Eddie's head, you're looking at the figure standing exactly, look at that, exactly six inches in height, or the figure's going to be roughly about 15 and a half centimeters tall. Sadly, though, Eddie's not going to be able to have his guitar solo, simply just because the figure doesn't come include with a guitar or any accessories to speak of. That's kind of one thing that's a bit of a bummer about the Void series figures, is that they tend not to come include with anything in the way of accessories. Now, the guitar, not swappable hands, or even a display stand, I think would also go rather nicely with these figures, and they come pretty vacant when it comes to those things. Still, though, getting a closer look at Eddie and picking up the figure right now. Head sculpt-wise, it's not bad. I think in most cases, if you slightly tilt it to the side, I think it bears a better likeness to Eddie from the series. Looking at it straight on, though, it lacks a little something. I don't know if it's just the case that his hair seems not full enough. I mean, like looking at the sculpting of the hair, for example, it's nicely handled, but maybe it needed just a little bit more volume. Eddie did have quite full looking hair, even though it was technically a wig. But the head sculpt, I'm, I'm happy with. I do think there's an opportunity where there could have been a better likeness maybe provided. One thing also, too, about Eddie is he seems really neutrally expressed. I mean, he has very little in the way of expression. I would have given him, like, a big smile on his face or something. I mean, this is pretty downtrodden Eddie. I just think that he could have really used, for as boisterous and, and how much character he has actually in the season, it would have been a nicer touch, I think, for them to put a better, happier expression or crazier expression maybe on Eddie's face. Skin tone is also a little more on the pale side. The camera actually seemed to be doing a better job of giving it more warmer tones, but actually in hands, I mean, like, just to look at my skin tone of my fingers and comparing it next to Eddie, he seems a bit washed out. As for the rest of his outfit, though, he is wearing his, his jacket, his denim vest, and of course he does have the shirt that's underneath it that has the black sleeves. Pulling and opening up the collar, or opening up the vest, you can actually see inside he does have his Hellfire Club t-shirt, which has been nicely printed here on the t-shirt. The downside, though, to the t-shirt is that you always have to have the figure slightly crunched forward. Why do you have to have them always crunched forward like this? Well, let me show you what ends up happening. If you tilt the torso up, they've actually printed the same look of the face of the skull. You can see right there, there's a set of eyes still underneath, and there's also the same nose. They've doubled it up, which I guess is okay, but unfortunately, if you have it too far back like this, it ends up giving the dragon face, that demon face, I should say, it gives actually a double double eye, a double nose, for example, and it just looks a little out of place. I think what they probably should have done is maybe just painted the top like this color here. What color is that? Kind of like an orangey red. I just continued that up just below it. I would much rather a longer face on the demon face than actually having two sets of eyes and two sets of noses. That's the only thing that's a little off about this. Like the printing is really handled well here and I like the way they've actually done the t-shirt. I would love to get myself a Hellfire t-shirt myself. One that doesn't of course have two eyes and two noses. Uh, detailing is nicely handled here also the way they've painted in the buttons on the sides of his, his denim vest put a little buttons on the tops of his pockets there as well and it does look decent for for denim and then of course you've got that same image replicated here also on the back this really pops a lot more because it's got the white outlining done to it and again really nice use of the black that they added in there as well i say vest but it's kind of really more his jacket that he wears he has a little chain of course sticks out from the back of his one pocket and he's got a much longer rag that sticks out the other end of his pocket which does impede a little bit of the articulation that we'll talk more about in a second again you've got some nice coloring here happening for his legs he's got a couple little tears there in the tops of his knees and then he has his foot his footwear and he has these sneakers now the thing about the sneakers though 
is to their credit, they did at least want to add the tongues to the tops of the shoes. Unfortunately, though, they did add it to the top cuff of his leg. So in the moment you start rotating his feet, it does seem a little disjointed that the top of the tongue is actually attached here and not attached to the top of his shoe. And I guess the reasoning why they didn't simply just continue it from the rest of his shoe is when rotating it back and forth, you've had a little bit of lip of plastic. I'd much rather think go with the route of having the little lip of plastic than actually attaching it to this part of his leg because it just looks a little out of place when you start moving his leg back and forth. Sneakers are decently detailed. You can see they've sculpted in the laces. There's really much, very little in the way of wash here, but he has pretty bright shoes anyways in the series. For the articulation here on Eddie, first of all, we're going to start with his head. It's on a ball joint, so he can somewhat, somewhat rotate it back and forth, being the length of his hair the way that it is. Every time you rotate his head, it seems to want to kind of angle it a little bit lower down. Uh, yeah, you can't technically rotate it all the way around, but it's going to struggle a little bit simply just because he's got so much long hair going on here. Head goes up, head goes down, and of course you can rock it back and forth too. Shoulders are on hinge joints, so you can rotate those out or hinge those out at a comfortable 90 degree angle bend. You take those same arms and rotate them also all the way around. A little on the more tighter side though when you're doing it. He does have also... Uh, not a bicep swivel in that sense, but he does have a swivel kind of down below here in his forearm. This swivel, I actually thought they would have put a cut right here, but it's not the case at all. There's a swivel at the top of the shoulder. But there's not a swivel point in the in the actual section of his bicep. Figure does have just a straight single hinge in his elbow, and the hand also does rotate all the way around. And those are on pegs. Upper torso is on a ball joint. That is, of course, something I like. I don't mind, obviously, if you're going to rotate the torso, there's no way around it. You're obviously going to be cutting that demon face in half. But just again, I wish that they wouldn't have used two eyes, two noses. Just seems a little even stranger. Uh, the torso does go down. Uh, torso does go up. And, of course, the lower half of it also is also on a ball joint. You can rotate that all the way around. Legs do split out. They're on a ball joint on either side. You can take the legs and move them forward. You can move them back. There's a mild swivel also at the top of the thigh. There is a single hinge on the knee. Sort of works the same way as the elbow. You can also rotate that lower leg. And there's also articulation here also in the sneaker. You can move it back and forth this way. You can also ankle pivot. And there's also toe articulation as well. Things I do like about the figure is he's pretty detailed. He's nicely sculpted and well painted. The head sculpt is close to resembling the way that Eddie looks in the series. Being between the coloring that they've off-colored the skin tone, it's a little, a little too pale for my liking. And I do wish that they could have added maybe a better expression on his face. He just seems like very sombering looking Eddie here. The rest of his body actually is nicely handled here. Not crazy about the way they printed the shirt. I can't believe I said dragon. I can't believe I said dragon. But the way they've actually printed on the demon face on the front of the Hellfire Club t-shirt. I don't really like the way, again, like it's they printed it in two places that you always have to have like the torso kind of angled down so everything does line up. If you rock the torso too far back, then you're going to notice the double set of eyes on the demon face. And then again, there's the tongue aspect of the sneakers on the bottoms of his shoes. I kind of think in this case, even though I don't think it would have really eliminated articulation necessarily on the sneakers, if you had had the lips of the tongue actually a little bit further out from the cuffs of his leg, I think you'd still be able to move the feet back and forth and the tongue wouldn't look so as out of place as it does. Again, the other thing about this line, the Void series, is that they're really void of, artic of of accessories, not articulation. Articulation, they're fine for. Accessories, like Eddie should have come included with a whole bunch of other things. Not necessarily things that he's selling off school campus, but maybe at the very least he could come include with a guitar, he could have come with some albums or records or something along those lines, or even at the very least a display stand. Something, again, that the Void series figures are, again, completely void of. Eddie was my favorite thing about season four of Stranger Things. It was really the first season that this character was introduced, but the moment they did introduce him, I liked him right away. And I think that Bandai's done a pretty good job of giving us an Eddie as a fully articulated figure that we can put on the shelf along with the rest of our Void series Stranger Things figures that they have done already in the past. Proportionately, his body fits a little bit better than maybe like the 11 that we looked at before. He doesn't have bulging out thighs, for example, like his arms and his legs seem like appropriately sized and scaled to the rest of his body. And he does have like the matching Hellfire outfit that he has already in the series, with it also being on the back of his denim jacket as well. Nice little touches. 
I am a little bit bummed by the fact that the figure didn't come included with the display stand nor any accessories. Smaller things like D&D pieces would have been way too small to package along with the figure, but at the very least, a display stand or guitar would have gone a long way of displaying along with Eddie. I think, though, one thing I may end up doing is I have the guitar still sitting around from the Diamond Select Crow Eric Draven that we looked at in an earlier review. I'm not using that guitar for Eric Draven. I might as well use it for Eddie. It's not the same model. And it's definitely not the same color, but I think it's going to be good enough for the time being as a stand-in guitar so that Eddie will actually still get his moment to shine playing Master of Puppets in the Upside Down. Seriously, it's a scene that you have to see to believe. And he, apparently he practiced a lot to actually get that down. Considering for how many cameras, how many cutaways the camera goes back to him, he didn't really need to learn all that guitar, but he did. And he ended up even playing it with the band Metallica. How cool was that? A big, big thank you, though, to the folks over at Bandai that did provide the sample of the Stranger Things The Void series, Eddie, that we could have a look at in this review. For your video question for today, if you had the chance, first of all, to watch season four, please don't spoil it for anybody that hasn't had the chance yet. But what is your favorite season of Stranger Things? For me, at least, even though now I've watched all of season four, can't wait for the new season to start, I think I still settle on the idea of liking season three as my all-time favorite. But what's your favorite season of Stranger Things? Let me know down below in the comments section. And certainly, if you did enjoy this video, hit it with a like. If you're loving the content that you're seeing and certainly want to stick around for more... It's a horrible impression of a guitar. Certainly, if you want to stick around for more... I shouldn't have even done that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification. And popping up at the very end of this video as well would be also a playlist of other Stranger Things that I've looked at in the past and also will be looking at in the not-so-distant future as well. As always, guys, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.